Hi guys, I hope that you're really doing great and you vlog in new places but this time I am in Qatar and I came here for one week for work and I'm a planned to film for you guys like but every time I was so busy with work so anyways I am here I will show you a couple of places I will talk about Qatar about uh, this is actually not my first time in Qatar um, this is the third time uh, last year in 2022 I visited Qatar twice once in February and the second one was in September and now um, end of Jan beginning of Feb so the weather is so nice it's like around 19 degrees um, I'll take you around I will show you uh, some of their famous places so and I will talk about you know some differences between Qatar and UAE hope you enjoy it keep watching and let's go So one of the things that you really need to know about Qatar is that it's a peninsula meaning it is actually surrounded by the Arabian Gulf from uh, all the sides and it is actually located between UAE, I think UAE from this side and Saudi is from this side, Saudi Arabia. So that's why all around you will always see uh, the Arabian Gulf uh, in Qatar. Okay. Today I came to this um, great idea cafe where you can have your coffee in these cabinets and you can also uh, look at you know this view of the city. I'm sure when it's gonna get darker uh, it will look even uh, better with the lights and everything and I'm gonna order my coffee here and I will show you, uh, I'm gonna try, you know, to be in one of these cabinets. I'm gonna show you uh, in a minute. Guys, this is for rent. Oh my God, I'm trying to open it, okay? So this is for rent. I think for one hour is for 200 uh, rial. Look, that is so nice. And drinks, two drinks are included. Food is not included, but it is so beautiful. I like the idea. But now the weather is nice, so it's better to sit outside. <laughs> so that's how the room looks from inside. Look at the view from here, guys. Now I'm gonna show you. It's fantastic. Okay guys, now I had some tea so I feel like I'm a little bit refreshed. Uh, so there is a museum of Islamic art I'm going to go right now. So I want just to highlight that before the World Cup that took place on the 17th of uh, November, uh, Qatar tried to, you know, to refresh and um, to build these like touristy places so when pe people are going to come for the World Cup they will find you know some areas around uh, to enjoy so um, I will try my best to show you uh, whatever is left after the World Cup because now is today I think is the 30th of January uh, so I will take you with me around so let's go to the museum right now uh, so I used this elevator here is the museum but before going to the museum, I want to show you this. Okay, so I think this is called Narcisse Garden. And these are iron balls. Look at that. Nice. And look at that view. I think that is one of the markets here. Finally, you 
guys, I made it to Souk Waqaf and uh, it's literally the, the literal translation of that meaning standing market because people used to you know stand all the time the sellers actually stand all the time to sell all their goodies so as you can see it's very very traditional they sell spices souvenirs clothes foods um, gold silver and almost like everything you can of course bargain as much as you want unlike malls so I'm gonna take you around also I'm hungry maybe they have something uh, nice so I can eat I'll try this. It's called Subjagag. For five free hours only. I'm gonna order something called Madruba. So basically, it's chicken with something else. I don't know what is it. Chicken vegetable. Yes. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Go. Madruga. Okay, guys. So um, this is, I think, the first time for me to try madruba. So basically, it is an overcooked rice with chicken and lots of lots of spices. I'm sure. It tastes good. This full one is for uh, 10 dirhams, 10 rial only. And the weather, as I said, it's a little bit cold. Not cold, it's 19. But this is the first time. Oh my god, it's too hot. I'll try it now and I'll tell you how does it taste. I hope I would like it. It has cumin, cardamom, um, lots of lots of spices. This is yummy. Mm. It's like Haris in UAE, like Haris, but they add so many spices uh, to it. So it's, it's so yummy. Uh, definitely, I'm going to the gym at night. Definitely.
doing great and this is another day in Qatar and today I'm gonna take you with me uh, to work so basically what I do is that I visit schools uh, uh, across GCC and um, Middle East just to talk about the university or promote for the university that I work for so uh, the thing is today I'm gonna take you to Qatar uh, Academy for Science and Technology one of the top international student uh, uh, schools in Qatar uh, I hope you will enjoy it I will try to film myself working and I will update you guys anyways I'm going with an Uber today I hope my face is not blurry Today, um, here, uh, I mean, like using Uber is a good option because they are not as expensive uh, as, let's say, comparing to Dubai or comparing to Saudi Arabia. Um, like per trip, you would pay like around 15, maybe 20, 21 if it's that far. Uh, because you know, Qatar is small also, and the petrol prices here are not like um, are not like uh, uh, the United Arab Emirates or Saudi Arabia. So. Um, uh, and also they will come to you quickly usually waiting time in Saudi for an Uber is so long and sometimes they cancel on you anyways um, so far I'm blessed with that so once I reach the school I'll try to film for you so stay tuned we reach you guys so I want to show you look at this the schools here usually are so fancy anyways these are my staff I'll try to go in and um, also I want to show you one of the stadiums there is a stadium and this uh, this area is called um, educational city and they have their own tram and so on and so forth I like it all the schools here are I mean at least the international ones are well um, so I'm on time so let's go Okay guys, um, I know it's a little bit windy, maybe you cannot hear me well, but this is one of the stadiums for the World Cup in Qatar. I was like, let me share it with you guys, and they do have a tram. Oh my god, they, whenever I go to any school and I ask, uh, or people, like I meet people here, I say, how was the World Cup? They all tell me that it was so well organized, I think I missed it. But it's good, at least I'm getting the vibes. Oh, look at this. How oh, nice. Um, uh, yesterday I tried to get some souvenirs from Souk Latif for the, um, you know, uh, the World Cup. Everything it was so it's super expensive. Like it's around um, 1,000 Qatari uh, Riyal, you know. Anyways. That's it. Let me go to my next school. I was supposed to film for you um, uh, when I was in the school, but it was a quick session. Maybe in the next school. Let's see. I will take you guys to the sports museum 321 Qatar um, Sports and Olympic Museum. They say it's one of the most sophisticated um, 
museums in the world. I don't know. I don't know. I read a lot about it. Uh, it has two buildings and there's seven sections inside. So why am I actually? I used to come before to Qatar, but I've never uh, visited this museum. I'm not a museum person, but I want to visit the museum now. I want to see how is it uh, going to be. Maybe there is something uh, after the World Cup. Let's go together, guys. <laughs> One of the places that I used to go to regularly in Qatar, and that's just because I want to maintain um, like eating clean, healthy, and my uh, protein portion and everything is a um, healthy diet. And um, I really like their food. Uh, it's well cooked, and um, the serving time is very quick. And the food looks amazing. Look at that. That's spinach and beef and that's white rice um, and it's yummy okay it's yummy it's not it's chewy um, and I, I I actually tried so many branches I ordered online it's the same quality so I recommend it if you are um, in a quick trip to Qatar and um, you want to eat healthy so this is the way to go first of all tell us what's your name Muhammad Ansari. Yeah, Muhammad. How are you? Okay, Muhammad, you are working here over how many years? Uh, seven years. Seven years. Yes. Seven years. And uh, how was the World Cup? World Cup very good. Very good. You made a lot of money. Yeah. Okay, but how Every was? Every over uh, over a uh, driver. Uh huh. Minimum fifty thousand one month. No way. Yes. Oh my God! Yes. Mashallah, Mashallah. How many houses now you have? Too many. Yeah, too many. <laughs> one year. Okay. One year working. Uh huh. Coming fifty thousand. Yeah, one month fifty thousand coming. Mashallah. See. Um, was it busy? Was it difficult? No. You very, you. Very, 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 very good traffic. Very good traffic. Okay. Yeah. And um. Uh, how is Uber in Qatar? Is it good? Oh, um, Twenty thousand up. Mm. Yeah, how much you make any uh, during the uh, the month? In normal days. Normal days. Normal days you five thousand. Five thousand. Five thousand. Per month. Per month five thousand, four thousand, five hundred. This. And how many day? How many hours are you working? Twelve hours. Twelve hours. Okay. Six hours. Break. Two three hour break. Okay. After six hours. Mashallah. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Uh, so uh, Uber better than taxi? Yeah. Ah, very good. Wallah. Wallah. I want to work Uber. Uh, Uber? I want to work in Uber uh, in World Cup again. <laughs> <laughs> Inshallah. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So a quick update you guys, I finally was able to make it to Vanda Mall which is one of the most iconic malls in Qatar and that's because it cost them actually 1.3 billion dollars to build it and it's fairly new, they finished it in 2022. So um, I'm trying to film here and there but you are not allowed to use your camera and there is no charge on my phone and I have only a few hours and then I have to head back to uh, the airport so I will try to take you into a quick tour with me if I was able to show you anything so let's go